Two weeks from today, we are heading out for six months of travel. There's myself, Mandy, my husband, Evan, and our three-year-old son, Emerson. And we are going to document our travels. We've started um, social media things that are called Obey Family Adventures. And um, so this is a video on how we've packed up all our liquids. We're allowed three liquids pouches, 100 milliliter sized each things, and one liter each total, because um, we're choosing to do carry on only for the full six months. Um, I've been practicing packing and it's working out, so we're going for it. Um, so if you'd like to see how we can very minimalistically um, pack for family of three for six months of travel, um, watch this video, find out what I put inside, and um, root for us, because it's kind of exciting. Two weeks to go. Um, so I have a medicines bag. I also have a different bag that has our prescription medication that I didn't want to show on camera um, with our names and stuff like that and details. Um, I have three different liquids bags and then I have my own toiletry sack. Um, so I'll show you each one. The three liquids pouches that were allowed are because Emerson is three, so we did have to purchase him a seat. Um, so we get three full-size carry-ons and we get three personal bags. Um, and inside each of the three bags we can have, each of us can have one liter and each of the things inside the one liter can only be a hundred milliliters or less. Um, so here's what's in the three liquids pouches. Um, I have our sanitizers that we're going to hang off of our bags. I have three of my favorite essential oils. I have a lavender roller, I have a peppermint halo roller from Sage, and I have a thieves roller. And both of those I made um, myself just mixing with coconut oil. Those are the three that I use most often. I'm bringing those. I also packed um, a little bit of the thieves household cleaner and it, you just mix it one part of this in 30 parts of water. So once we get there and I can get a spritz container, I can use that to clean things up. I have toothpaste for Emerson and his toothbrush is in my toiletry bag. I have toothpaste for us, toothbrushes in the toiletry bag as well. Um, I have a Listerine. So sunscreen, Evan has his own sunscreen. It's a Vino um, with SPF 30. I have a face sunscreen from Arbonne um, that's almost done, and so I did purchase a new sunscreen to use, and that is a Lumiere, it's clear shield, and it's SPF 42. Emerson has his own sunscreen, and it's the Green Beaver um, Kids Sunscreen, it's SPF 40, so I am getting one more of these to bring as well, which will fit in here. Um, but there's an empty container um, allotting for that, so I knew that it would definitely fit. Um, we've got some bug repellent, and I would like to get one more of those as well, because it does have DEET, and it is okay for kids. I also have um, a Benadryl stick. Um, I've got some face cream put in here. It's the Kate Summersville um, Nourish, my favorite face cream. So I've put that in. Um, we've got coconut oil and I have packed an empty one as well because I wanted to do two coconut oils. Um, we use that for Emerson's bath and for hundreds of other things. Um, shampoo and bath soap contain... Bleh, 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 bleh. Emerson has a shampoo as well. It's the Honest Company shampoo and the body wash mixed in one. Um, my shampoo and conditioner, it's the Biolage Matrix that I use. So I have one of each of those. And I also have my leave-in conditioner spray. Evan has um, a shampoo for himself. He has a shave cream for himself. And a hair tonic, which he uses for his hair, and also some aftershave. So that would be for Evan. And then the last remaining things I have aloe vera gel. I have our soft soap brand with the aloe enriched um, hand soap that we've used for years that I'd prefer to have because it helps me look after my skin. 
Um, I have my face cleanser. I have a um, hairspray, and it's not my favorite one. I've used the Herbal Essences Body Envy for years, but I can't find a mini size of it anywhere, and I also can't find anything that compares to it. Um, but I do need a little bit of hairspray, so I am bringing this one. I'll give it a try. Um, I have my Diva Cup packed, and I also have a Diva Wash. I brought a Mio spray or squirt. And I have my eye cream, which is from Vichy. Um, I'm going to bring two of those. One's half empty and one's brand new. And I have my um, Bosia Clear Complexion Willowberg Spot Treatment. I um, used this for years as well. And so this one's almost done and I've got a brand new one as well. So this is what we've got. So these are all the liquids that we're packing for six months of travel for our family. Um, I don't wear makeup, so I won't need the cosmetics and I won't need the uh, makeup remover and things like that. I just um, wash my face, put on my face cream, my sunscreen, and uh, my eye cream. And if I have a blemish, then I just use the um, willow bark. And that's what I've been doing for years. Um, basically, since Emerson's been born, I've just been keeping that routine um, as minimalist and as basic as possible. And it's been working for me. Um, I'm going to go get, get, get rid of this and then get the next two bags out. Should I pack it or should I just dump it? I might just dump it. Okay, so I'm going to pack it back into three spots. So the packing back in part sucks. This one has lots of space left. We're good. So this bag has medical stuff. Um, some of it's liquids and some of it isn't. And anything that is medically necessary, um, prescription or not prescription, you can keep separate other than the liquids pouches, which is nice um, for a little bit more space because we were finding that the Benadryls and the Tylenols and things that we needed for Emerson um, were taking up quite a bit of space in our liquids. But now that we're done, I think we could have fitted it in because there is some room left still in one of the pouches, which is good. Um, so in there, I just have all my extra baggies, the block bags. Um, we have our first aid kit that I'll keep around. So lots of band-aids, our thermometer, and also two polysporins. Miss loves polysporin. Um, we have gastrolite, which is what the travel nurse recommended that we bring just in case we noticed that we were getting dehydrated or especially for Emerson if he's getting dehydrated. And this is one of them that does say it's safe for kids, whereas several of them don't have a children's dose for it. So I did pick that up. Um, I have brow ball with ginger, like their lozenges, um, and I also have brow ball with ginger tablets. So I have the Pepto Bismol chewables. Um, we have a mini ibuprofen, and we also have Tylenol. We have Emerson's Advil and Emerson's Tylenol. Um, we have Benadryl Allergy for Kids liquid. And Emerson still takes his D-drops, so we brought that. And then we take D-drops as well. And I have the Polysporin Pink Eye and Assisting Ultra Hydration for Eyes. I wear contact lenses, so it's nice to hydrate. Not sure if I mentioned it or not, but medicines that are medically necessary with or without prescriptions don't have to count towards your liquids that you're allowed. My cosmetics pouch has everything that I'm bringing other than the liquids and other than my hair dryer, curling iron, hairbrush, um, and contact lenses. 
So in the video where I'm packing my pack with my clothes and shoes and things like that, um, I'll be putting this bag in it as well as the hairbrush and things like that that I mentioned. Um, but I won't open up the pouch in that video. So this is what's in my cosmetics pouch. <clears throat> So I have um, my favorite deodorant, which is the Green Beaver Company, um, same as Emerson's sunscreen, and it's aluminum free and it's antiperspirant, um, and it works better than any other deodorant or any perspirant that I've used clinical grade even. So I just love it. And this is rich and sweet bliss. It kind of smells coconut citrusy. Um, so I did buy five of them so I would be able to um, have enough for the whole trip. I've been liking being a little bit more natural lately as well. So that fit. Um, shave stuff. So I have the Emery board. Um, I have my Quattro Pro razor and I also have the um, Chic Intuition razor as well. Um, I'm not bringing shave cream but we are bringing ivory soap. It's our favorite soap. It's the only one that we use. So we're bringing one of those and hopefully can find more on our travels. I haven't got me a go girl. So it's so that women can stand up to pee. Um, I'm not going to open it but you can maybe there'll be a link below, um, hold it up to yourself and it can funnel out. Um, so this would be great for camping and several other things. There's Shiwi, there's lots of different brands, but we picked this one. Um, and that way if we're stuck anywhere on a hike or stuck anywhere in a long car ride and maybe not in a place that we feel comfortable stopping for long, um, I'd be able to use that. Along the lines of feminine products, I do have my Diva Cup and I mentioned my Diva Wash um, in the other video. I've been using the Diva Cup for over a year and it's changed my life. It's amazing. Highly recommended. I'm a couple panty liners just in case. I brought Q-tips for all of us to use. Um, my toothbrush, Emerson's toothbrush, and our toothpaste is in the bag, liquids bag. I have dental floss. I have my favorite um, lip balms. I have um, some hair ties and quite a few bobby pins stuffed in there. Not sure if we're allowed scissors, but I do have our hair scissors and I do have like eyebrow scissors. Um, so I brought them as long as as well as um, nail clippers and cuticle clippers and um, tweezers and also a little extractor. So. A stain stick from a bunch of farmers. Their favorite stain stick. There's not one stain that I found that we can't get out of Emerson's clothes even, which is great. I have extra refills for my razors. And I have hair clips. And the baby powder is for me for my hair. Um, I use it instead of dry shampoo. It's my favorite. I'm going to put it back in. feels good packing and repacking. Um, I'm probably going to take everything back out of these ones and repack them again so it's just a little bit um, nicer but I've done that with my clothes as well packing and repacking and it's just made me feel that much more prepared and that much more sure that we can successfully travel six months carry on only um, myself my husband and our three-year-old child. Um, if you want to see the other videos we'll be doing one I'm definitely doing one for packing for myself and I'll do one for what we're packing for my son um, Emerson I think that Evan will be doing one for him for packing his clothes and things and I know for sure that he's doing one for our travel gear because um, I filmed this using the GoPro and um, we have a lot of tech and a lot of gear that we're bringing along with us to make sure that we can document our travels as best as we can for ourselves, for our family, and um, so that we can post on social media as well. So we're going to be Obey Family Adventures. Um, follow along with us to see our journey. Please tell us any tips or tricks that you have about traveling um, as a family, full-time travel, um, fa traveling with a three-year-old, um, and as I said before, our first destination is Costa Rica, so anywhere through there um, that you suggest. So 
Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of our videos and bye.